Hey guys, so today I'm going to be shooting this, the Oneida Phoenix. <sighs> so, Oneida is one of those companies where I, I just don't think they're as big as they should be. Now, the, the Oneida bows really have gotten a little more fame since being on CW's Arrow, but I think they can do so much more. It's such a unique system having the cams halfway down rather than at the tip of the limbs because it means that the cables are all running inside the actual riser itself. Beautiful design. It also means that here there is nothing to grab onto other than the actual string itself. It draws back so easy, it draws back so nicely. The, uh, the tiller is set to about... Uh, 60% rather than typical 80%. This particular bow is the medium of the short, medium and large and it's about 42 inches from tip to tip. The actual draw length where the tiller kicks in and the edge of the draw length is from 26 and a half inches to 29 inches. So if, you, if you've got a draw length shorter than that go for the small, if you've got a draw length bigger than that go for the large. And you'll still be fine with it. You do need an arrow rest. I have a beautiful timber doodle. I love it just because of the name. Beautiful. So um yeah, let's let's have some fun. Thank you. 
so that was the Oneida Phoenix. Gorgeous. I'm um I'm gonna give my my thoughts before I go into the specs and, and bore a few people. But um generally, you know, the the impression from this bow, it it's really nice and it's really easy to shoot. I was getting fairly good groups. Um I did one very yeah i missed i missed badly but then i was trying the dagger technique and i ended up losing one of my arrows the arrowhead is now in a big block of wood which is really annoying but generally speaking um it, it's it's a nice bow to shoot but, um it's not really aggressive and i thought it would be it, it it's not it won't hold your hand but if you put in the time, if you put in the practice, even going from a recurve, uh, a trad bow like I have going into this, it's very different shooting it. But when you put in the time and, and practice with it, it, it does all pay off. And it, it's a really nice bow. The grip. It's a low grip. But that's... Can you hear that? Yeah. That, that's, it sounds and it feels like cheap plastic just put onto the side and that really annoys me because this is not a cheap bow at all <laughs> it is a lot of money it is serious money you know it's I understand why they have it but um, it is something I'm gonna look at modifying either putting a wrap around it or finding wooden planks that I can fit on there uh, just just to get rid of that. Oh, nah. But um, aside from that, you know, going back to how it shoots, there, there's next to no finger pinch. I have been shooting now for two hours, I think. I, I, I was out there for about two hours shooting the whole time with no glove, with no tab. It, it it felt really nice. There's there's no there's there's no finger pinch, which for me is brilliant because that means I can carry less. The less equipment I have to carry, the better, in my opinion. But it, it it's a nice bow. If you can test it first, because you know I in the unboxing video, uh, someone left a comment saying that his his son bought the bow and was not happy with it yeah it, it's a lot of money to buy a bow and not be happy with it so yeah buy you know test it first if you can i know it's difficult in the uk as far as i know it's only merlin who are stocking this bow at the moment i, I promise i'm not on the take for merlin i i don't get anything by sending them people i'm just a repeat customer with them so yeah Links to Merlin will be down below and links to the Oneida website will be down below as well. So that's 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 my impressions. I like the bow. I mean I I'm gonna pick up my Black Panther and shoot the Black Panther, but I really like this bow and I am So the boring bit now, the tech bit or the spec bit. Um I've got nothing to compare this bow to in terms of previous models, so I don't know if the upper and lower string stop are really changing it that much but you know it it's it, it plays an important role that oneida have put out and oneida don't skimp on things i mean i know i just criticized the grip but you know it, it it's a small thing that's just just put on on the side it, it, it it's not that it's the cheapest possible option so there is a reason why it's here. There is a reason why, at the moment, the Phoenix is the flagship. It's got a beautiful design. The cam system runs through the riser. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the biggest thing, the, the biggest upside for me, is that I can do the maintenance at home with a set of Allen keys, which is fantastic. As I said before, this is a medium of the short, medium, medium, 
and large range, which goes from 26 and a half inches right up to 29. But the weight, the, the draw weight on this right now is about 40, about 40 pounds. It has the potential of going from 30 up to 50, which is fantastic. It, it's all I need. And to change it, all I need is an Allen key. And let's change that. That's it. And, you know, that's, that's a big range that I have as a potential. It is geared towards bow fishing. So, you know, the, the tap at the bottom for, well, for a reel, really, you wouldn't really want to put a bottom weight on this, a bottom stabilizer, or at least I wouldn't, because, you know, it's only slight, but I notice it when I, when I have it, when I'm moving the bow around, I, I feel that most of the weight is, is geared more towards the bottom. It's still, it, it's a good bow, it's a good shooter. I genuinely enjoy it. Um, someone asked me on the uh, unboxing video um, if they'd need to have uh, left-handed sights and stable and um, arrow rest if they bought a left-handed bow. Yes, yes, you will. But Merlin do have uh, left-handed options of their their risers. The risers, yeah. Well, yeah, they do have left-handed versions of the risers. They have left-handed versions of the bow. Left-handed versions of the arrow rest and sights so you are all set up if you go over and just have a look at their websites very easy to to navigate but yeah i'm at the moment i really can't think of anything else to to add or to put into these videos it's it, it's a fun bow to shoot it can get serious you can do some some serious things you can go bow fishing you can get the the next uh weight poundage up and get the 50 to 70 and you can hunt the big game it's just it's a nice bow it's a really nice bow i do recommend it but i do recommend testing it before you buy it there you go